Out to uh, Upul Chandra. Upul Chandra, he doesn't miss many. So the Sri Lankans have uh, broken straight away. And uh, they are really delighted. Michael Clark goes without bothering the scorers. Not for one. Well, it's a rarity for Ricky Ponting to come to the crease when the score is on Nor, but Australia have lost their first wicket. And look at those numbers there. Strike rate of 77. Average of nearly close to 42. Only 45 runs short of 7,000 runs at this level. Just probably next to Sachin Tendulkar, the best player in the world, I believe, in one-day cricket at the moment. Class acts. Fantastic cricketer. And they get run straight away. That's just Paul Fielding there from Chandon up. And he gets off the mark. He's just taking a catch. Well, he should have stopped that one. Yes, the Sri Lankans really cannot afford any errors on the field, particularly in these early overs. And um, against someone like Ponting, he's the peak of his form. And there you are. That's uh, why Ponting's there. Clark uh, hitting two Upul Chandana. And uh, Chami Dewas, he's struck. He's such a fine bowler, Chamin Dewas. Even on these docile pitches, uh, he keeps on picking up wickets. And the Sri Lankans have relied so very heavily on him. The fact that he didn't get his foot to the pitch of the ball. Michael Clark, he sort of just put his foot down the middle of the pitch and just threw his hands at the ball. Let's have a look at his front foot. Straight down, nowhere near the line of the ball. And all of a sudden, just a little leg cut away. He had to throw his hands out. it, couldn't control the ball and spooned it to point. No! Good start for the Sri Lankans. Two for one. shot just worked it for one it's the key there to uh, bowling at um, Dilshan's pace and also making it difficult for the batsman is to bowl within the stumps and um, this is uh, what Dilshan has been doing fairly successfully it's probably a bit too quick for Matty Hayden to sweep so he has to look to hit the ball through the covers for my liking oh no just having a bit of a look here. Good experiment here, opening the bowling with a spin-up. Tupac Patel, the New Zealander, did it quite often. Oh, that one did turn. The front edge. It's a good delivery. He realised that uh, Hayden was looking to give the charge. Darted in quickly and again into his pads spinning it quietly oh very good over again only one off Australia in a bit of trouble six for one that has gone all the way what a shot it's the first six of the day, and he's such a great hooker and puller of the ball. It's just a little bit short, and watch this. This man is in the peak of form, as you would say. Just a trifle short, this pitch is slow, but uh, Ponting, he was very quick to react. Just look at the reflex into position, and um, he hits powerfully, though he's a small man. He's got huge forearms, Ranger, this fellow. Look at his forearms there. It, it reminds me of Viv Richards and Alan Border. All the great batsmen have big forearms. There's four more. Beautiful shot. Just saw it back of a length when the Australians were a little bit of trouble. They've just come back and just gone 6 4. His Ponting really has realized that he needs to start uh, unwinding here. That again was had width and short, and Ponting, um, as you did mention, hit so powerfully. It's the length, though, I think. Range it, isn't it? It's pretty hard to drive this pitch. But you bowl it short, just gives them enough time to wind up and whack it. Look at those numbers. 1154 ODI runs. He scored last year. And he's just gone to 15 in a hell of a hurry. That's the better length. 
just so hard to drive in this slow, low pitch. But if you drop it in short... Drop it in short, it gives enough time to, for him to get on that back foot and just whack it anywhere he wants. This really is what happened to the Australian quicker bowlers. They really have lost their line and length. So Chamin Dawas needs to think, mix things up, but at the same time ensure that the length is precise. Well, that was lucky. It's gone almost right over the top of the stumps there. Looked like he tried to little ramp it or push it down to third man here. This one gets a feeling that he slowed down the pace and uh, concentrating more on getting his length and line right. Just the back of good length is uh, where it should be. But it has to be absolutely meticulous and precise. Margin for error on this pitch is quite small there for the bowlers. If you just give him a little bit of wide width, well, just have a look at here the comparisons against for Ricky Ponting. His overall average is 41.9 against the Sri Lankans. It's 45.7. So he enjoys playing against the Sri Lankans. And quick single there, and again too short. That's the length. End of a good over for the Australians. 17 for one. Good use of the feet, nice controlled drive against the spin. Australia opening to everyone's surprise with Michael Clark and the man in the picture. Beautifully done. For too many runs, but uh, everything was oh, just right. That shot. Well, against Sri Lanka, even better. Just nine matches, mind you. The average 45. Quite windy at the moment out there in the middle. He's gone over the top comfortably. That's four. There's a slight risk in the shot in the, the mid ons playing reasonably deep. But you can see there, clears the man easily. And there's another man in the deep. 20 metres to the left of that, so Ponting's placed it beautifully. He's just back himself, he hit it over the field, but then he missed it. It'll be a catch to mid on. He dragged that one down short. I think so short that Ponting can only get one off it. That surprised him. That's what really Daniel's a good field placement as well. Well, I thought he missed out on five runs there. Come on, Dele, come Could have been. Uh, all the way maximum something he may have expected against a change bowler going short it is up in the air it's a high shot and comfortably over the ropes there he goes Billy Bowden I wonder does he have specific warm-up exercises for the six you have to stretch your groins a bit now the way he comes, it was very full. He made it into a half volley. And once he got there, he's got the power to hit it all that distance. Thank you, Bill. Well, Dalshan just facing harsh realities at the moment. This over, 48 for one. All of a sudden, it's uh, very close. Sri Lanka were looking good at this stage. Still good after 10 over. They didn't lose a wicket. Australians have. It's an even contest so far, but I've got to say, I think the Sri Lankan tactic has paid dividends because the Aussies are so often away to a six and over, seven over. 
occasionally eight and over start against the new balls. So I think that's a, quite a successful tactic to open with the spinners at one end. Bowl Vasa, a four over spell and has spin at both ends. So it's worked for them. They just need to keep taking some wickets. Yes. That's a good point you make. It's definitely worked. 50 up for Australia. So often they can run away so quickly in the first 15 overs. Once they had that target in their mind of 245, knowing well it's going to get more and more difficult later on. See the partnership, Ricky Ponting doing the bulk of the scoring there. The first 15 overs were going to be vital, but the Sri Lankans have done quite well. Oh! First time round, missing Lexham by quite a bit. Yeah, to us uh, watching the screen, it, it seems to have turned a long way. Big angle, he comes from very wide. Potting plays back, and you can see how far it goes. It's definitely going down the leg side. Billy Bowden was. I've seen a word about the umpire coming around from behind the stumps with the appeal. The umpires don't like that, and the match referee, but just a quiet word. It's actually in the books. You've got to appeal from where you are. You can't uh, charge towards the umpire while appealing. It's something that's in the books now. It makes it easier for the umpires to enforce discipline. Ricky Ponting runs the first one very quickly. Will settle for a single. Dilshan with a good throw in the deep. That's the kind of feeling that Sri Lanka need to keep the pressure on the Australian runners. Potting sets off hard, and on another day, he may have taken to a look at this throw. An absolute beauty, and that'll set the standard for the next time the ball goes deep to Dilshan. They will think about taking that second. Now then, there's a bit of a... Uh, Beard rubbing, just exactly where they set this field. Still only two men allowed outside that 30-yard circle, which always makes field placement for the slow bowls all that much more difficult in the early overs. Now he's, uh, he's got a slip, which he has to have, spinning across the left-hander. Bat pad on the offside, that's an interesting one. Oh! Well, Hayden sweeps, and that's no surprise either. That was full enough to drive. I'm sure he premeditated the sweep. I think it's uh, not the off spin as well. It's the other one. It's very short by Morley standards. That's how good he is. Uh, the batsmen are a little late to pick it. To lose deliveries is something that they don't expect from the man. But very impressed with Marvin Atapatu's captaincy. Very short, yeah. He's done uh, most things right, even getting Murli in the uh, 12th on, over as on. opposed to 15 in the last match. He's kept the right move, taking Dilshan off after that one poor over. That's four. That's again a very short delivery. This time it's the wrong one. And he's got four for it. Australia 58 for one. So there we are. 148 required from 174 balls. Australia way in front. Yeah, they just can't get bored. They've got to keep hitting targets. Fieldsman on the boundary and keep picking up these singles. Well, a quick single there. It looked like a funny type of shot, wasn't it? Premeditated. A little dink on the on the onside. It was tossed up. I thought he uh, he picked it up to give it plenty. And then just dropped on him. And that's the secret. Uh, if you're beaten, you just stop everything and get back to ball somehow. And he's picked up a single. Yep. 100 partnership. Of course, they come into bat, these two. Uh, Australia, one for none. Mo young Michael Clark, 
well, effectively, he's almost made a pair. He's got a duck and a duck in the first two games. Yet to make a run in Sri Lanka. And it's been a fantastic partnership. They never really looked much of a bother, did they? In just 82 minutes. That's good going. They haven't really ripped them apart, have they? And what's more, Dino, is this, this cricket pitch has not broken up. It, it, it just looks to be getting better. <laughs> he's trying to get it fine, I think. He's looking to do a little fine. He's better off at just hitting it as hard as he normally does. As hard as he can. He's played one lofted drive over mid-off for six today. There's a man out there at long off. That's what he's better off of doing. And it's, oh, beautiful work. Oh, it's just a little <laughs> kick on one side and purely brilliant. Teamwork. Look at the soccer skills here. Beautiful, Murray. And Mahela Jai Widener comes around to mop up for him. Should That's he, what they need, the Sri Lankans. Lots, he, lots more teamwork. Should he be in the inner circle, Jay Wardner? Too good a fieldsman, isn't he? Yeah, he hasn't got a strong arm either from the outfield. Oh, he's a great catcher. He's a great catcher. He's taken some fantastic catches. I think he should be in the inner ring. Here it is here. That's fine. No problem there. The third umpire just, obviously, Gamini Silva just wants a little bit of a look. No! Well bowled. Good over. 102 for one. Here we go, game on now. Oh, he's attacking, using his feet straight away. Come on, Morelli. Yeah, a lot of a lot of batsmen have tried to get to Morelli over the years. I think they've got him on the fall, and he drops very, very quickly in the air. They're looking for two. Beautiful placement, really was. And they'll get them easily. Chandana there. Now, if anybody's going to get to him on the full or on the half volley as it pitches, it'll be Ricky Ponting. Beautiful use of the feet. Did you notice the back leg was to cover the one that might have gone straight on? How clever is that? Is that intentional or not? Maybe. Beautiful footwork. He's got to use the Dozra as the uh, as the surprise oh, ball, Murlidor, and he doesn't want to overdo it, I reckon. He, they all know that he's got oh, it. Ponning's 48, not out. Oh, lovely shot. They'll get three here at least. And that'll be his 50. He's played beautifully, the skipper. Captained the team really well. Brilliant. Brilliant run out, one of the best bits of fielding I've ever seen in my life today. And it's a brilliant 50. He's 38th one day international 50 at this level. Brilliant effort. That's his fifth 50 against Sri Lanka. What a player. Really has played well. Shaking the hands here from Matty Hayden. His run out, his run out today was just awesome. There it is there. 70% of his run scored on the leg side. Yes, they know they can't afford to give him in any room outside the off stump. But he's so good there as well. Look at that. Just four to square between square and mid wicket. Picked up 15 of his runs there and 12 behind square. Feel it, it slip. Is that an appeal? No. Or... <laughs> now he expects to get a wicket every ball. Early Duran, everyone he bowls, he's looking for a wicket. Beautiful sweep shot again from Matty Hayden. Six off the over, one away for one.
That's for that brings up his 50. Sanat Jayasuri has been struggling in this competition to keep the runs down. And this is the 21st 50 for Matthew Hayden. Well, it's been a fine innings by Hayden. He's uh, held the batting together. He had a job to do. And uh, since the dismissal off, Clark has uh, stayed with his captain. Again, Sanat Jayasuriya. As a result of Hayden sweeping so much, uh, straying outside off stump and Hayden uh, putting it away for four. He's gone fine on the leg side this occasion. Upul Chandan had to really sprint hard to make sure the Australians don't go back for the third. Just the two runs. The Sri Lankan spinners really haven't uh, bowled to one um, definite plan all line and Hayden gets a bit of a tickle on that occasion. It's a good shot, uh, playing it fine. Again, the big sweep comes in. Fielded well at uh, square lip by Morley. Eight runs of that over. Australia, 116 for one. Upul Chandana. Second spell starts off uh, pretty well. That's a good point you make about Murli. I remember in 1993, Alan Border actually did not play Shane Warne in the one-day series in England. He didn't want to expose him too much to the Englishmen because the test matches were coming later. Well, the Australians have seen quite a bit of Murli, but maybe it may not be such a bad idea. Just hold him back and not bowl him too much in the one-day matches. Oh, he's bowled so many overs, uh, Murli I mean, uh, there's no question that uh, he's really taken the load over the years, pulled away. And that's four. Getting the gap, Pulshandana dragging that shot, and uh, he explodes, particularly when he gets an opportunity. Ponting. Well, it's his first boundary for 18 overs, Ricky Ponting, but he put it where he wanted to. It was a low ball, not easy to play the pull shot when the bounce is low. He just sort of bent in his knee to get to the height required. That really came smack from the middle of the bat. Sweep shot, it's gone no, fine, it should get two. This, this is turning out to be a good over for Australia. The pull Shandana. There you are, Murli Dharan. 345 wickets in 226 matches. It's bold, uh, the bulk of the overs for Sri Lanka. And of course, Chamindavas has always been uh, his support man. So, uh, Mavanatha Patu might have to turn to him to uh, try and make some sort of breakthrough here. So they are in the top bracket amongst the uh, most wicket takers uh, in uh, one day cricket. I know for a fact that Murli would absolutely hate it if the selected would start thinking on those lines of just resting him for the one day and keep him fresh and we'll keep some mystery around him as far as the Australian batsmen are concerned. There's something they can maybe just think about. Would it make sense? 135 for one. So there you are, that's uh, the bowling card. Except for Chami the Vuas has picked up a wicket. Um, the Sri Lankans, uh, the rest of them have been wicketless. So one, one tends to use one's feet, um, batting against spin becomes much easier. The equation 104 in 127. Oh! They keep appealing for this. But every time the impact is a good, uh, well, nearly a foot outside the off star. Eight runs of that over, 143 for one. Time. It's caused his downfall, and he 
and if Schalke needed a wicket, they needed it right then. In the end, it's a very good catch. Ponting plays the sweep, hits it up. So he really does hit it with the bat going up. Doesn't try to keep it down. Just carried. And Australia lose their second wicket. The score on 148. Ricky Ponting going for 69. Damien Martin, the new man in. And he's got some good numbers as well, as do just about all the Australian batsmen, but generally not a good starter against spin. He'll have that opportunity shortly, but Hayden is taking some fluids in. He's got a couple of bottles there, one water and another one with a bit of flavour. The field have taken their time as well. They've all had a drink. Hayden sweeps again and he sweeps in the gap and sweeps hard. 150 up for Australia, 32 overs gone and they've lost two wickets. Hayden gets a long hop and hits it for four. Well, that was a poor delivery. It got what it deserved. Well, I can't work out for the life of me why Damasena's bowling. The the great man here, Muir Litteran, should be on now. Look at this. This is just oh, taking on, candy off a baby. Short. He had oodles of time to hit that to any part of the leg side bander he wanted. Now, Matty Hayden, he's just on 76 here and just cruising. And he's got four fours. There's only been eight hit in the complete innings, the complete Australian innings, which is incredible stat. Well, he sweeps again, and this time they, uh, on, they settle for one. I thought there might be two in there for a moment. Only eight fours, two of which have come in the last couple of overs. And that's in the air. Is it out? Is it caught? It is. Martin's happy to go. Vass has come back. He's been successful. Good capacity, good bowling, and a terrific catch. Oh, the change of pace did him just wonderfully bold. Really was. Really. There it is, the change up delivery. It just held up and, and Martin was through the shot and a beautiful catch. Really was a beautiful catch from Atapar to the skipper. And they get that most important wicket there. Damien Martin's gone. He's gone for five. And Australia, 170 for three. Andrew Simons, his batting record has improved significantly since the World Cup last year. Very inconsistent before then, but now turning into a quality player. And that's a smashed sweep. Oh, he does hit it hard. Take that. Honestly, I just love his aggression, his confidence. Look out, Billy. Billy, look out. <laughs> He might be calling for a helmet shortly. Oh, that's four. And it couldn't have come at the worst time. Tom in the was uh, spring in his steps. He had picked up a wicket. Sri Lanka might just be inspired enough, and this is a big letdown. How often does it happen you give a player a big rap and then <laughs> within a ball or two? They let you down, a batsman gets out when you've given him a rap. It's incredible. Oh, good recovery, and in the end, you've got to say that's a brilliant catch. It almost went all wrong for Mahila Jaiwardhanim. What a wicket. Matthew Hayden has fallen in the 90s once again. What a catch, Mahila Jaiwardhanim. That is a classic. That's an all-time classic. Hayden went inside out, tried to get it into the gap. I, I reckon the ball was heading away from him the whole time. And boy, did they need that. Look at this. Brilliant, brilliant. Mahila Jawadna, sensational. That's the one they wanted, they're back in it. Out for 93, it's 190 for four. 